What's up you knuckleheads, it's Josh and we are back with the patch 13.3 tier list for Team Fight Tactics. Gadgetines got a huge rework in 13.3, but was it enough to save this often overlooked comp? Well, taking a look at the tier list, you can see that the answer to that question is a resounding no. Yes, we do have Gadgetine Zoe in the E tier, but that's where she was last patch. These changes don't really seem to have elevated her or the Gadgetine comp overall. However, you can see champions that got buffed in this patch like Lux, Talia, and Jinx all doing extremely well, with the lowest rated of them being Lux down in the low A tier. But other than that, you do see that in the S and A tiers, it's a lot of the same champions that we have come to expect like Aphelio, San Diego, Misfortune, Zed, Samira. In fact, Lux and Jinx are the only 1 and 2 cost champions that headline any comp in the S or A tier, while the only comps in those high tiers that are based on 3 cost units would be around with Kai'Sa and Zoe. As far as those changes go, we do see on the positive side that those champions that got buffed like the Jinx, Talia, and Lux all rose in terms of their ideal comps for this patch. We also saw super base comps like Draven, Yumi, and even Ezreal rising up the ranks a little bit this patch, so it definitely seems like slow rolling is becoming a bit more viable in 13.3 as opposed to the 13.1 patches, and those lower cost units just seem like they're in a better state right now than they have been. But when we come to the negatives, no surprise, we do see that a couple of mech comps, namely Mech Viego and Mech Wukong, have kind of dropped off a little bit. We also see that other high tier comps that are not quite as good, like Star of Guardian Talia and Defender Aphelios, are just kind of lagging behind a little bit. In short, it just looks like this patch has achieved a little bit more parity than we've seen in recent patches, with those lower cost, slow, and hyper roll comps being a little bit more competitive compared to the high cost comps. However, those 4 and 5 cost units are still among the best in TFT, and they're still probably the ones you should be aiming to 2 and 3 star for camp. And so with that in mind, let's take a look at one of those slow roll comps that you can play in 13.3, the Super Draven Reroll Comp. Now this comp is based around both Draven and Zoe, so you have a mixed amount of damage there. You are going to go with three mech primes to kind of buff up that Draven and give him all of the frontline tankiness, along with the damage he's going to get, with Zoe being your backline DPS. And with the two hackers, you're actually going to be able to get that Draven into the backline, so if he is all buffed up and beefy, he is going to be an absolute menace to deal with, and he's going to take a lot of attention off of your front lines like Echo and Fiddlesticks for them to be able to do even more work. In terms of augments for this comp, you don't really need anything special. One of the Draven augments is probably your best bet, and now with the four hero augment rerolls, you have a better chance of getting that. But other great augments for this comp would be like Ascension, because Draven is going to live long enough that he's going to get that bonus damage. Amp Thrill the Hunt is also going to be really good, as well as Portable Forge or Component Grab Bag. And then other stuff like Celestial Blessing and Knife's Edge can also be pretty good. And if you want some tips on another comp that's going to be really good this this patch, go ahead and click here to see my guide for how to play the Mecha Prime comp, which also features Draven. Peace, Knuckleheads.